welcome back to the Geek Party. This is Kami, and as we know, we're here to give you your daily dose of content. So today we're doing something you have also been requesting. I know lately we haven't been uploading many reviews, but I promise I'll catch up. And today we have an exciting movie, and it is Kappa. So um, I've seen a lot of mixed reviews about this movie. Many people say it is very bad, but um, I'll give you my personal review, my opinion, it is not biased and it is up to you guys if you want to watch the movie or not. So Kabza is a periodic drama film from Sandalwood directed by R. Chandru. The stars we have Upendra, well the main stars, <laughs> Sudeep and Shriya Saran. For the plot of the story, the story is very complex and it revolves between 1942 to 1986. It follows the life of, the life of Arkesh Vara, who becomes a powerful don. He and his brothers are sons of a martyr freedom. Later, his older brother and his mom will work very hard to support Arkesh Vara's Air Force career. But due to some circumstances, um, he joins the Mafia why and how he turns into such a temporary don is the main plot of the movie remember i tried to give to not give any spoilers to give this review spoiler free so i'll try my best so for the bad main thing that um i didn't like is that the character development all the villains simply just come and go throughout the movie and there are several villains, so many villains that you don't get a chance to understand what is going on, why they're here, why what they, why this is happening. It's just a bit here, there, here, there with the villain part and I didn't like it that much as in other movies that we get one villain or several powerful villains that we completely understand why they're here or the reason in this case it doesn't happen like that that part it's a bit like here there then um we also don't have any emotional connection with the main character the movie is going very fast you will not have any time to bond with the lead you will not feel that empathy you will not feel like ah yes go please yes no you will be entertained, you will enjoy, but you will not have that connection that usually we want in this type of movies, which are emotional. It has a lot of emotional moments, but it is not there. And the thing is that the movie is very fast paced for such a complex story. There are a lot of characters, there are a lot of things going on. Many times it is just cut off and cut off a bit, so it doesn't really give you time to ah yes to get into the story and the last thing is that the unnecessary use of black screen cut i understand that they maybe they do this to give it a bit more dramaticism or something but i didn't see the need in many scenes yes you can use it but there's no need that you use it in every single change of the scenario there's no need, it is really pointless doing this and at some point you get, you get bored of this. So that is uh, another thing. Now we will go for the good. The good thing, um, I know you have been comparing, people have been comparing a lot the cinematography. The camera angles and the color grading is very similar to, K to KGF, sorry, yes. But it suits the story. Remember that these times um, were very gloomy, were very dark, and uh, it suits it. It suits it, but the story is different. The story is very different from KGF. Um, the story is good, and it would pull you in. That is as much as I will say without giving you many spoilers, but it is very different to KGF. For example, in KGF we have um, we have uh, Josh, we have well, Rocky, we have Rocky, and he doesn't have a mom. He wants to become the king to fulfill the promise he made to his mom. 
In this case, it is completely different because our main character doesn't have a father, but he has his mom with him, and uh, he has his wife, he has children. It is very different. His motives behind what is going on is different. Rocky is because, like I said, a promise. Um, what he, his mom said. In the other side, we have um, Arkeshvara. That his main motive is vengeance, taking revenge. So only from then, from there, the main reason of this is very different. So I don't find it fair. To, con to compare it just because we have very similar color and cinematography there are many movies that they share the same cinematography but they're not the same thing so I do want to point that out then we have our female lead I like that she has relevance and her character plays an important role in the story something I, I don't like in movies is just having a random girl to be there, just to exist, not adding any value in the story. In this case, it is completely different. She's there, She there's a reason she's there, and she has a major part of uh, in what would happen in the movie. On uh, all, all the things, how everything goes on, she does have a major part, and I like it a lot. I like it that she's just not a thing there for item songs or anything. She's just, there's a point of her existence, of her character. Then we also have the climax with Dr. Shiv Rajkumar. I know many people were waiting for this and uh, it will have you hooked and it will leave you wanting for more. I I was watching it and I was just like, ah, what is going on? What will happen? Why he's here? How? like. I, I legit felt puzzled why this is happening, how this is happening. My mind was going on like at such speed to understand what was going on, but it legit will just have you like, why? What is going on here? Great, great, great. And the acting, uh, I think the main thing here that um, that is worth highlighting as the good is the acting and the transformation that uh, we see of our main character from saint to don because that is the way that you describe him as a saint and how he does it is simply flawless he did a commendable job and his acting alone will keep you glued to the screen and I think that is the major thing of this movie, the acting is so good. Everything that is, well the story is also good complex, but I wish it would be maybe a bit longer. But what do we can do? And for bonus, I will uh, add up uh, Kicha Sudip's cameo. is very entertaining, I like it. I didn't know in the beginning where the story was going on when he appeared and it sets the ground for his character's development in the future. The way he narrates and is just very impactful and it adds more depth to the story. You know sometimes the voice behind everything that is happening does have a way in how you perceive the things. And in his case, he adds more value to whatever is happening on the screen. Personally, I enjoyed the story. I found several realistic aspects, such as our main character not giving long monologues before action scenes. He was straight to the point and precise to what he was doing. The story is different from KGF, therefore I don't see the point in comparing both movies. They just share similar cinematographic style, like I said before. So I will not go more deep into this. In the end guys, it is up to you if you want or you don't want to watch the movie. But I do I did like it. I enjoyed it. It is a very good time. And if it comes up that it will do second part, 100% I'll be there to watch it. My rating for this movie is 3.5. It is not a perfect movie. No. But it has a very good story like I said before and it does it its point which is entertaining and giving a good time. 
Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoy what we do, remember to subscribe, like, and share. See you next time. Bye.